And um, Judge Garland, I want to say thank you to you for your willingness to to serve and for your career in public service. And I will tell you, as I've talked to Tennesseans about this, they care a lot about law, order, timeliness at the Justice Department. And uh, after the Christmas Day bombing, you and I discussed this and the bombing that took place in Nashville. They really are interested in the principles and the convictions of our nation's top law enforcement official. And my hope is, and I think the expectation is that you will assure the American people that you are going to apply the law fairly and equitably because in this country, as we know, no one is above the law. Now, I know you've been asked about the Durham investigation, and I will tell you that this is important to Tennesseans and making certain that that investigation is going to be completed and that you are going to work to be certain that it is not impeded and is completed and that you're committed to seeing this through to completion. Well, uh, thank you, Senator. I appreciate it. And I appreciate the opportunity we had to discuss uh, uh, these matters um, uh, earlier as well. Um, as I said, with respect to the Durham investigation, I don't know anything about it other than uh, what has appeared in the media. Um, the investigation has been uh, discreet with, uh, as appropriate uh, with respect to expressions of, the, of its status. Um, I understand that Mr. Durham has um, uh, been permitted to remain uh, in his position, and I know of nothing uh, that would give me any doubt that that was the correct uh, decision. And, and I, I appreciate, appreciate that. that. And likewise, likewise we, we had discussed, discussed the investigation, investigation into, into Hunter, Hunter Biden's business dealings. And uh, we want to make certain that you commit to allowing Delaware U.S. Attorney David Weiss to complete that investigation and bring that evidence forward. And similarly with Mr. Durham, I don't know anything about uh, that investigation other than what I've read uh, in the um, uh, media. And again, that, dis that investigation has been um, uh, proceeding uh, uh, discreetly uh, and not publicly, uh, uh, as all investigations should. Uh, I understand that the Delaware uh, U.S. Attorney um, uh, was permitted uh, to stay on as U.S. Attorney, and I, again, have absolutely no reason to doubt that that was uh, uh, the correct decision. And uh, let's talk a little bit about China, because we discussed some of that for the record, and uh, our last DNI had stated that China is our greatest threat. So I would like to hear from you. Do you agree that the Chinese Communist Party is an enemy of the American people? Well, uh, I don't have the same familiarity uh, with the intelligence information that the uh, director of, the, of national intelligence has. So in terms of comparing, say, the threat from China and the threat from Russia, I'm just not competent uh, to make that. And I, that comparison and I have learned uh, in my professional career not to make uh, judgments on which I am not uh, competent. But I uh, certainly, uh, from what the director said, uh, there's no doubt that, that uh, China is uh, a threat with respect to uh, hacking of our uh, computers, hacking of our uh, infrastructure, uh, theft of our intellectual uh, property. Um, um, uh, all of these are uh, very uh, difficult problems and uh, we have to defend against. Well, well we, we do. do. And, and I, I know that, that Lindsey Graham, Graham asked you about, about Section 230, 230 and, and some of the issues that are there. We all are very concerned about the issues that surround China, whether it is the Chinese Communist Party and their, the way they threaten our democracy and our economic leadership around the globe. And we're also concerned about uh, the Chinese military links into our American universities through things like the Confucius Institutes. And for instance, 
Uh, recently, there was a situation at Harvard with a cancer researcher, and he was caught trying to smuggle 21 vials of biological material out of the U.S. and get it to China. And I would hope that you agree that this threat puts uh, American intellectual property and technology at risk. And I would hope that you would assure the American people that you're going to put the full force of the Department of Justice to forward to investigate and to prosecute every one of the spies that are working on U.S. soil. Well, well Senator, I'm, I'm not familiar with that circumstance, um, so I can't comment on it specifically, but I can assure you uh, that the Justice Department's National Security Division uh, was in, uh, created in part uh, for the purpose of ferreting out um, um, uh, espionage uh, by foreign agents, and that that is also the uh, the role of the FBI and the two working together. And uh, if if uh, uh, foreign agents are uh, caught uh, uh, stealing American intellectual property, American trade secrets, um, uh, American materials, that they will be prosecuted. Yes, of course. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, we're about a year into this pandemic, and technology has allowed for us to do work like we in the Senate are doing with WebEx. Uh, I think we've all found that it gives a lot of flexibility, but um, as we are spending more time online, we hear from people about holding big tech accountable. As I said, you've discussed Section 2, 230 earlier, and we are hearing more about antitrust lawsuits. Of course, you all have the current suit against Google, and I will hope that you are going to allow that lawsuit to continue. Yeah, I don't. Again, I don't want to talk about a particular lawsuit, but um, I, I I don't see uh, you know every matter um, uh, I'd have to uh, ask uh, for a briefing on. Um, but uh, uh, much of that lawsuit uh, is public, and again, um, given what I've uh, read, I don't see uh, any reason why the, that investigation, uh, the decision to uh, to institute that investigation, uh, uh, would be changed. But I. I only know what I uh, what I've read with respect to uh, to the descriptions of the public filings. Let me ask you one more question, and then I'm going to have a series of questions to come to you as QFRs. Uh, the President Biden has talked about reinstating the um, Obama administration practice of paying settlement money from winning lawsuits to third-party interest groups like. La Raza, the National Community Reinvestment Coalition, and the Urban League. And it's just, you know, I, I find it really interesting that they would choose to have that money go to these outside groups instead of to victims or to the U.S. Treasury. So do you plan on reinstating that policy, and how would you justify reinstating that policy? I, I don't have any plan one way or the other. Um, um, I know you raised that, uh, that policy um, when we were talking before, and I, I understand uh, yeah. your concern about it. Um, obviously, um, damages uh, recoveries should uh, uh, first uh, go to help uh, victims. I don't know uh, very much at all about uh, the policy, and uh, it would be something I would have to consider uh, if I'm confirmed, um, I have to hear the arguments uh, on both sides of uh, why the policy obviously started uh, and also why it was rescinded. Thank, Thank you so much. much. I, I appreciate, appreciate your time, time Mr. Chairman. Thank, Thank you. you.